Hey, what's going on you guys? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another, I just created, or I created, NFL star, or, or should I say, I, I created college football star, Henry Ruggs III, on a rugby video game. And this is what happened. Guys, welcome to the video. Um, today, we begin the second part of this series, and that is to stack our substitution bench. A rugby team has 15 players on the field at any one time, unless someone gets sent off for a, you know, a, a yellow or a red card, a yellow card's for 10 minutes, a red card's for the game. Not only do you have your 15 players on the field, but you've also got replacements, okay? Someone gets injured, someone gets tired, whatever happens, you have a substitution system. Now, each player that starts can only be brought off the one time. You have seven substitutions mixed between you know, forwards and backs. Now it's up to the coach as to how many backs and how many forwards you include in that substitution bench. And it's gonna be, it's gonna depend on their game plan as well. You know, they're gonna have certain players that they know they're gonna bring off at a certain time when they're getting tired and they want fresh legs to go on in that position, start dominating. That's what happens. Today's video, we're gonna begin with the replacement that, you know, he's gonna play on the wing. Um, he's gonna either replace Tyreek Hill or Odell Beckham Jr. And with that being said, his name is none other than Henry Ruggs III. So guys, I'm gonna roll the intro. I want you to stay tuned. We're gonna come back and try and create with the new Madden 21 ratings that have just dropped, which is basically the reason why I'm doing this, and we're gonna create his player. Henry Ruggs III, overall 76. But if we look at the first two attributes, and we will be keeping these consistent, We've got speed at 98 and acceleration at 97. So with all that being said, I'll see you in a sec. I swear I like your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl I swear for you I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me I think I'm going insane. Now, if I said I wasn't looking forward to this one, I'd be absolutely lying. Um, his name. Is Henry. Now, I, I don't think Ruggs will be in the system, but we'll see. No. So Henry Ruggs, when he's on the field, will be called by his position or number. Which is all good. But with uh, my OCD the way it is, um, with this kind of thing, it kind of pisses me off. All right, so he's currently 21 years of age. We're gonna go right-footed, we're gonna... There he is, and we're gonna go that one. His position? Well, I'm gonna say left wing. And in sevens, I'd say inside center. Attributes, okay, so we'll go to our preset attributes for a left wing, and this is where the fun starts. <sighs> What are we going to say? Is he fit? He's definitely fit. He's fit. He's fit as hell. We're going to go 90. Um, speed, we're going to keep consistent. And we're going to go 98. For reference, we put Tyreek Hill as 100 speed. Um, and no one's going to beat him. 97 acceleration. Aggression? What do we got here? What do we have? Catching, carrying. What is... KPW and KAC mean? I, I honestly don't know what they mean. Um, aggression. All right, we'll, we'll keep it at 80. Agility, we can do that one. 87, beautiful. Break tackle. Mm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 70. He's, he, he's not the biggest, but he's got speed and speed kills. Um, tackling, yeah, we'll, we'll, Jesus Christ, we'll keep that at, uh, did he play corner? If he played corner, he can definitely hit a tackle. But I'm not going to look that up. We're going to go 50. Passing. I'm going to say 60. Offloading, we're going to go 60. Now, offloading is basically just a little pop pass, a little lateral, and I feel like he can definitely do those. General kicking, well, he's definitely not going to kick. We're going to bring that down to 30. Goal kicking? Yeah, hell no. We're going to bring that down to 20. Catching. We can actually take his catching statistics. 83. Fantastic. Strength. What do we got? 61. It's all good. He's got the speed. 
Mental agility. Now, awareness, you know what? Okay, so what we're going to do, Henry Ruggs, his awareness is at 69. Uh, we're going to make mental agility, which is basically awareness, 69, and discipline, 69, because he doesn't have enough points to share over those two statistics. Now, jumping, I hate to think. Jumping, not that that really means anything, but we're going to go... We're going to go 80. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to do my very best with this. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, that's him. No, 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 that's him. What are we doing with the temples? Like that. Mm, like that. Neck width. Now for once, this guy's neck isn't wider than his face. We're going to leave it like that. Um, yep, yeah, all good. I'm going to go that one. Go that. He did have a little bit of blonde on the top, but he's got little dreadlocks at the moment. So we're going to have a little look for some medium hair with a little bit of... Have we got some dreadlocks? Hair colour, it's going to have to go black. We'll give him a little bit at the bottom, like a lot of these guys do. Mm. Yep. And, um, yeah, what are we going to do about this hair? God. <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do? Um, oh, Rugsy. Hey, where are you? <laughs> oh, God. They don't make it easy, do they? This is going to really piss me off. He's got these little dreadlock corn braid things, doesn't he? So, oh, God, I, I don't know. No, no, he's got short hair. God. That's him. You know what? I think we've found... I think we've finally found the closest thing to a fade. Um, and it's still nothing like it. But, unfortunately... <laughs> that's... Oh, shit. That's going to have to be him. That's all good. Alright, so he's 5'11", or 180, and 188 pounds, or 85 kg. So, he's 180 already on the game. And we're going to have to bring him down and weight 5 kg. Boom. Okay. Torso. Small stomach. Small definition defined spine shape. Puffy chest out. Arms. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go small. Legs. We're gonna go small. Leg shape. We're gonna keep consistent. Um, accessories. Right. This is how we're gonna find them on the field. We're gonna go. Purple sleeves, purple boots, no tattoos, even though he probably does have some. And there you go. Boom, just like that. Okay, so before we get in the match, before we, you know, throw Henry Ruggs into the deep end with the All Blacks, we're gonna we're gonna find him. And we're gonna see what his overall rating is. Let's see if it beats his rating in map. There it is. 87. So what's he got in... Okay, so he's got an overall of 76 in Madden and an overall of 87 in rugby. So you know what that means, guys, don't you? That means he should be playing rugby. <laughs> so I'm going to grab Henry Ruggs, the third. I'm going to put him on the left wing for the All Blacks. We're going to play him in a game against the old rival, the USA Eagles. And I hope you enjoy. Because that's what this channel is all about, having fun. And with that being said, I'll see you there. Peace out. Liberty Stadium is a modern facility in Swansea, the third largest sporting venue in Wales. The Ospreys recorded their first capacity crowd here in 2006 when they beat Australia 24-16. Justin Marshall is with me here. Should be pretty easy to pick the winner of this match. Beautiful conditions here. 
the sun is out to play, and the crowd, well, they are already keeping the drink stalls busy as they try to keep cool. A packed stadium like this really will get the players all fired up. We're set for what should be a great encounter. Your blacks get ready for the haka. Challenge accepted, I think it's fair to say. Just waiting on the ref signal to get us going. It's a short one. Conrad Smith snaps up the kickoff. The ball's Boys. being contested. Daniel Carter has it now. Nanu scampers ahead. That's still alive, it's still on for New Zealand. Well, if they can't improve their defence, they'll be in danger of losing this match. Off he goes, gliding his way through. Daniel Carter gets the ball away. Steps his way through nicely. I believe they've kept this for New Zealand. Excellent tackle there. Franks is having a go at the ball. Yeah, that's good phase play there. That was a forward pass. So, they'll come back for the scrum. When he looks back, he will realise he's made a horrible mistake. First Ouch. scrum in the game. Find. Set. A brutal contest in the scrum. Both teams putting pressure on. Davis off the back. Left says ball is out. Barry driven backwards. I think the ball is still alive here for USA. Coleman pulls him down in a textbook tackle. Driving right at the defence. More bounds. Chase can see it in there. Banks keeps it going. Gilmore brings it up. Gathers up the loose ball. Twenty two meter restart. Let's it bounce, but he's gathered it up. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. I think they still have this one. It was charging through. Big run. Coach will be very disappointed if they've lost this. And they've turned it over. They were banking on getting this back. And now they have. Release. Have to release the ball now. He pushes it on. Wyatt Crockett takes him in a nice tackle. So they're making progress. But still some work to do here. Past the halfway there. Now taken down hard. He's holding on for dear life here. <laughs> Contested here and lost by the USA. Trying to get a drive going here. Breaks through. That'll knock the wind out of him. Stewart takes the catch and goal. 22 dropout to come. The restart at the 22. Aaron Smith rises up to take the catch. Johnson is too strong, can't fend him off. 
keeps the ball moving. The left winger pumps the legs with a good charge. So this is a lineout. Banks takes it down. So more formed here. The ball controlled at the back. Davis, decent meters made on that charge. Banks keeps it going. The tackle's not enough. Butcher with a nice run. Punches away with this one. There's some real force in this defense. Davis finds a runner. Barry goes no further, taken down. Banks nailed in that tackle. That's the 22 meter line. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Chase gives it off now. And they drive him into the ground. Davis picks the ball up. And he's knocked down hard. Conrad Smith has the ball. Gets it after the bounce. It was good. Some really stellar catching. Strong defense. Tries the fend unsuccessfully. Aaron Smith pushes it on. The kick bounces into touch. So, at half-time, they're all square here. It's a handy lead, and to be fair, they've looked the more likely side on attack. It's a sell-out crowd here, and the players will love coming out of the tunnel to a huge roar. Not the tidiest of matches so far. Let's check out the stats. The opposition have really struggled to get their hands on the ball. Line breaks have been a feature so far. The defenders have struggled to keep things tight. Now the kickoff. Kickoff taken in. He gets crunched to the ground. Ruck is formed. He has to release. He pushes it on. Williams. Grace. The ref wants him to let go of it. Barry picks it up. Edwards brings him to the ground nicely. A good pass to his support player. Banks pulls him down. Adams delivers it to a run. No way through. Coleman picks it up, has a go. I don't think he's in great shape. He suffered a knock on the leg by the look of it. This is always sad to see, but hopefully it won't be as bad as it looks. And now the scrum to pack. Bind. Set. Davis puts it in. And a good battle going on here. Both teams putting pressure on. Make some very good meters here. Gilmore grabs it out of the back. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Advantage. Oh, they've lost the ball. The ref playing advantage here. Yeah, he just lost it in the contact there. Good hit on him, though. Dan Carter pulls it out of the back. Runs at the defense, but driven back. He's not letting go. Short pass here. So, they'll come back for the scrum here. Crouch. There's going to be a scrum. Find Fierce contest in the scrum so far. Set. How will they cope this time? Aaron Smith puts it in. Defence holding up well enough. Good pushing from both teams. Big 
big, big charge. Karen Reed runs a straight line at the defence. Whitelock gets it away. He's got that one in the end. Johnson is absolutely smashed. Holland finds support. And he's shaken up by that one. So they'll have a line out. Whitelock claims it. Daniel Carter feeds it off. He spreads it. Remarkable. He spreads it. And the drop kick is over. Well, it's a close match. Both teams have done well so far. Great kick, isn't it? He strikes it superbly and it sails straight through. Kickoff is made. Fekatoa takes in the kickoff. Down he goes. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Short pass here. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. He keeps the ball moving. Crunch to ground. Can he get go at the ball? That'll knock the wind out of him. it up, has a dart at the defence. Messam has the ball, sold the dummy, and down he goes, finally. Kieran Reid takes it, runs it hard and fast at the defence. Now he's looking for some support. Bort, holding onto the ball until the support arrives. Franks gives it off now. The left winger dragged down in a nice tackle. Reed delivers the ball. Loses ground and momentum in that run. Aaron Smith gets the ball to his support player. He pushes the pass further. Stewart lets it bounce. Well, it was a great catch. He's got good hands. Looking to make a little ground here. This match just about over here. Now he goes. Davis has it now. Quick delivery. And a knock on. Playing advantage. He just took his eye off the ball slightly and then just knocked it on. Owen Franks delivers it on. Crowd enjoyed that tackle. Carter pops it up. The All Blacks get the win. The All Blacks, the victors. An excellent contest here. They came away with the win in what was a very even battle. They have problems with territory in this game. A lot of the time they were trapped in their own half. They retained the ball well in this match. The possession stats back that up. While we know there's never a foregone conclusion in rugby, this result is pretty much as we predicted it. This has been a tight contest here. A very good match. On behalf of Justin and myself, bye for now.